Welcome to Classics, the Iliad Division 4. We would ask you now, please be seated, remain seated and quiet while the performance is going on on stage. This is the final group of the evening, and once you've finished, would you please exit out the doors on the right back of the auditorium. The final group that you will see tonight is Bowling Green State University from Bowling Green, Ohio, United States of America. Sit back and enjoy the classics. Judges, are you ready? Team, are you ready? Yeah. Begin. For those of you just tuning in, it's a beautiful day on the battlefield. And the score right now on our beautiful scoreboard here at Trojan Park is Greeks 14, Trojans 21. With me, as always, is our color commentator, Chromo Comente. Chromo, what do you think of that last play? Well, I can magician. I'd say that it hasn't helped the Greeks that their swiftest player, Achilles, has been removed, injured from the game, following a particularly low tackle, leaving a weak spot in the Greek game. Following on the heels of that loss, the Greeks have been steadily pushed back to their own end zone by that Trojan warhorse Hector, who's just been merciless today. Each time the Greeks gain ground, the Trojans penetrate their lines and put them on their backs. Though the Greeks aren't far behind in points, they haven't managed to score since the second quarter. Of course, there have been some accusations that Apollo, the referee, hasn't been an impartial official. It seems to some that he's been favoring the well-protected Trojans. The Greeks seem to be lining up for a play. Patroclus steps back. He looks left. He looks right. There's nobody open and he's sacked. Patroclus looks very frustrated. He, he seems to have just left the field and the Greeks are reorganizing for an attack. He looked very upset as he headed toward the boats on the Greek sideline. Wait! The Greek star player Achilles has returned to the game. He's healed remarkably quickly. Wouldn't you say so, Akko? He doesn't even appear to be limping. The Greeks are setting up for a play. Let's see what happens. XBI! LXX! IVV! <laughs> Achilles is running the ball. He's at the 20, he's at the 10. If that tried to tackle him, he did it, would have made it all the way to Troy. Wait, Apollo's throwing a flag on the play. Illegal use of hands, wing shoes, and impersonating a non-invincible warrior. I don't know about you, Chromo Comente, but that call sounded out of line to me, and I think most of the crowd agrees. The Greeks have been penalized 10 yards, will be starting at the Trojans 20. They're right at the gates of Troy, Ago. Do you think they can pull it off? They've started the play, but Achilles still doesn't have his helmet. He's holding the ball on the 20. He seems disoriented. It appears he may have some sort of eye injury. He's turning toward the sidelines. Wait, that's not Achilles. That, that's Patroclus under that pileup. Do you think they realize who they're tearing apart? Oh, this is a sad day for the sports world. There seems to be a fight on for his body. The, the Trojans aren't really content with taking the game and the title, but they, they want to take the body of the Greek star as well. Get this thing out of here. Come on, point toss. Head! It's yours, make it! The Greeks have won the body, though they don't seem too pleased about it. Well, he is dead, I know. True. Well, the victorious sector has taken the Greeks fallen imposter's legendary helmet. He's just out to humiliate those Greeks one way or another today. Thank you. 
Well, I'll yeah. do my all ones, but I hear we have to perform or something sometime. Is there a competition so, soon? No. Are we going to do this in front of people? I sure hope. <laughs> I would really be kind of embarrassed taking off all my clothing in front of people. What are you doing out here? We're taking a break. It's intermission. We have eight minutes. You don't have time for an intermission. Let's get to work. What do you mean we don't have time for an intermission? You don't see me slacking off. Why are you so special? Sorry, buddy. You Union. What about our grievance? Paperwork. We told her good, didn't we? <laughs> so, uh, let's do something. Well, uh, I don't know. We can play a game or something. I don't know. What? A little horse? A little, little Trojan horse? Uh, <laughs> Well, no. Can't believe really fix this mess? This works all Greek to me. <laughs> Shut up. Welcome to WWOM Radio. The news for today, October 29th, 1929, is sponsored by Conoco, the Continental Oil Corporation. And now for the news. With me, as always, is our Wall Street analyst, Christopher Cotton. Chris? Thank you. On the stock market this weekend... Oh my! What a dedicated group of stockholders we have! Taking time out of your busy work day for a party. Oh, I see you've helped yourself to the champagne we provided. And now it's time for a toast. As the president of the Trojan Condiment Company, it is my pleasure to introduce everyone's favorite investment broker, Mr. Apollo. Apollo? Mr. Apollo has kept us gained success in the corporate war of 1928 and has kept us at number one in 1929. Without his shrewd help, we never would have acquired the secret Helen of soy sauce from the Greek elite topping corporation. And he has yet another investment for us today. But first, the toast. Ketchup is red, mustard is yellow. Three cheers for Apollo, because he's such a great fellow. <laughs> recognizing real talent when you see it. And in honor of your honoring me, I've brought you a little something to decorate both your office and your pocketbooks. Come take a look. Do you love it? It's authentic. It's worth millions, but I got it for a steal. Uh, it, it's great, Apollo. We can use it as our new company emblem. We, we can hang it right above the, the, the main, the, the, it's authentic. How do you know this is authentic? I haven't seen any paperwork on this. Have you? I really don't think we should put our money in it. It's already done. I trust Apollo, and you should do. What do you mean it's already done? We're your major stockholders. How could you possibly not consult us with a major investment? We don't even know if this thing's authentic. It's from the Trojan War. I should know. I was there. How dare you insult me, you pitiful mortal stockholders? About all of it. I'm so depressed. <laughs> <laughs> and so, with a stock market crash and the depression that ensued, the Trojan Condiment Company stockholders learned the same lesson as their namesakes, the first warriors of ancient Troy. It doesn't matter which side you're on, so long as you're protected. It's the end! 